best life. Please welcome Rosalind Kahn. Hi, my name is Rosalind Khan. I'm with Chow Entertainment called Living Your Best Life. Today we're here at the beautiful Orbic Helicopters. Let me tell you how the story all began. I'm a person who I believe that children are the life and the force in our world. So I had an opportunity working with Dr. Caroline Makaka with an organization called World Youth Leaders. In that organization, I made the recommendation of several young kids and, and I believe when you touch a kid's heart, your heart begins to open. So on this particular platform, I introduced a person by the name of Raza Khan, who's from Pakistan. And through his relationship, he, I believe, introduced me to, to Kyra and some other people along the way. There was an artist, Olson. There was a person whose name is um, Tiberius Boy, Joseph Boy, who were part of this. But the one person who's really stayed connected besides Joseph Boy is Kyra Persebre. You see, Kyra is a seven-year-old child, but Kyra is more than you see. She has a heart and she's always giving and thinking about other people. And so when they came to the United States, they always make a special point of visiting me. And when they saw my recent vis video, I have a show that's called Living Your Best Life, where I talk about people overcoming obstacles. And they said their heart was pounding and pulsating. They said, if there's a way that we can ride on that gyrocopter, boy, that would be amazing. Well, I'm a person who believes in connecting people with people. My partner in my business that I couldn't live without, her name is Anna Marie Buenacor. Anna Marie Buenacor works with this organization over here, and she does advertising. She helps promote places that have, have planes and private pilots and things like that, and a magazine that she works with. So when this opportunity came up and I said, is there a way that we can get Kyra to go here? If it wasn't for her, this wouldn't be possible. And so now what we've arranged is for her to go up by herself with the pilot. And he's gonna show her the skies of beautiful Camarillo, show her carpentry and all the beautiful areas. I know that this flight will be something that she'll remember forever. But what I know about Kyra, is she's a person who gives from her heart Everywhere she goes, she wants to present people with gifts. And she said she'd like to someday fly a plane so she can be easier to go ahead and drop off supplies and what other people needs. What's the best part about her? She has the most loving and giving parents, Sheila and Ernie, and her brother, Chris. There's another brother at home, and it's, it's a family that makes the world a better place. You see, if we spend the time with our loved ones, if we talk to them, if we listen to them, and we hear them, imagine what our world could be with. And so it's my honor and privilege to give this wonderful opportunity to Kyra and her parents and her brother and her family and to all the people in Hawaii to see that in America, it's not just the violence you see on the streets. It's not just the strange people in politics that you wonder how they got there. But there are truly real people who give from their heart. My name is Rosalind Khan. The name of my show is called Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. It shows every Tuesday on Chow Entertainment. And if you go to my YouTube channel, R-O-S-A-L-Y-N-K-A-H-N, you can follow all those shows. And we're going to be in Las Vegas too. One of these days, we're going to be over in Hawaii, and I'm going to be doing it there. So thank you so much. Namaste and gratitude beyond words. Thank you. Khan from Chow Entertainment. We're here at Orbic Helicopters with a special privilege and honor to interview the wonderful, the distinguished Miss Kyra Persebre all the way from Hawaii. Aloha everybody. My name is Kyra Shirin Persebre. I'm seven years old. Thank you Dr. Rosalie Khan for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure and honor. So, so tell us, Kyra, what was your experience like in, in riding this, this gyrocopter? It was very fun. It was so amazing. Yeah? What did you get to see? I get to see the ocean, the cars, some like, like soccer. Uh-huh. And I can 
get to see like some boats. You are a very special guest. Oh wow. You get a hat. Wow. Put that on. Wow, put that on. Put that, that on. Awesome. There you go. Wow. <laughs> that is really cool. So this is from Borbic Helicopters. And so you were telling me back in Hawaii, do you do something special? Do you sing or dance or anything like that? Yeah, I do. Oh, what kind of songs do you like to sing? I like to sing. I like to sing if we hold on together. Yeah, that's a beautiful song. I heard you sing that today for for, for Michael here. That was lovely. That was lovely. Now, what did you come out here from California for? What did, what did you come out to California for? Did you get an award from a uh, Carolyn Makaka? Yeah, I got an award and um, and I'm here to go to Disneyland, but I already did in South Monica and to see my global. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I introduced you to, to Dr. Caroline, and Dr. Caroline decided to recognize you for that wonderful event. And and you've done many things. Have you not been to the White House before? Yes, I've been. You've been only for one day. How was it at the White House? It was amazing. So now you tell me, you you give back to society. You help a lot of people out in the world. Yeah, I just give them food and money and help people that are in need. Wow, that is really sweet. And so someday, when you get big, what are you going to be someday? I want to be the president of the United States of America to help people make new laws and help people that are in need so that there will be no pollution. Wow, that's really cool. I think pollution is, is really bad. I don't like it when people pollute either. It's, it's yeah, really, you're, you're really lucky because there, there's some really great people. Thank you. Sheila and, and Ernie and your brother Chris, you are lucky to have such a special... You too. Well, I'm so glad that you're friends with me because I, I just... I have many things to do, but when you come to town, I clear my calendar because I wouldn't rather do anything else in the whole world but spend time with you. So thank you so much for interviewing with me. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure and honor. Congratulations for making that dream come true. Bye-bye, everyone. God bye -bye. bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Rosalind Tan, for having me here. You're so welcome, and thank you, Prasibra. Thank you, Kyra Prasibra. It's wonderful having this wonderful singer and dancer and performer here thank with such you. a beautiful heart. Thank you. Have an incredible day. You have a beautiful time, too. We'll see you later. Say bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. We'll bless you all. Bless you all. Take care. Gratitude beyond the words and namaste. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to follow me and subscribe with live on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Okay, bye bye. What's your name of your show out? Lily. Lily? Okay, yeah. that's a pretty name. I'm just taking pictures. Mm -hmm. And I just want to go around. So, so you get to sit in there. I need seatbelts. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you do need seatbelts. Horsepower right over here uh, on this engine. And it's driven uh, or it's connected to the main engine. That the engine actually drives is the propeller. Have a beautiful time too. We'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye everyone, we'll bless you all. Bless you all. Okay. Oh, look at all these pictures. I did it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that just hurts me looking at that. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that oh. your little tree? That's candy. Yeah. That's, that's candy. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like orange. It is orange. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for your interest in InFlight USA and our newest publication, BizAvJets USA. We serve general and business aviation throughout the U.S. For more information on submitting articles or advertising in our publications, visit InFlightUSA.com. Thank you. BizAvJets USA magazine is a new publication to the business aviation industry. And business aviation is a growing and thriving industry. We plan to bring you all the latest trends and news. We also plan to bring you new information about new airframes, 
systems and interiors to market. Feel free to visit bizavjetsusa.com. Do you want to sing a song? Yeah. Well, you can sing whatever you want to sing. Just sing it out loud, okay? Okay.
Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the costs, and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Are you looking to get blinged out? Well, look no further. Boss Lady Bling Blingy have all the bling you need. You can find us online at Lady Blingy 4 on IG or Lady Blingy on Facebook or www.BossLadyBlingBlingy here in sunny San Diego at 2031 Commercial Street, San Diego, California. Call us at 619-617-4586. Hi everybody, my name is Rosalind Khan with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. We are here today with the pleasure and excitement of being with Jeff Reyes from the Church of Latter-day Saints. So what finds you in the beautiful city of Buena Park today? Uh, we're here with our Christian youth choir. There are about 35 youth from our little towns in, in Utah. And we came to perform um, at, the, at the temple and, and some churches today. Um, and then uh, in An Anaheim tomorrow. Fantastic. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, this is actually my wife and I's first year doing this. We've, we, we've sung our whole lives, but this is the first time that, that we've taken over. Wow. And so these are from a bunch of different schools, not necessarily kids that you teach, but a bunch of different other kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're a regular 501c3? Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's a not regular nonprofit group. Oh, yes. Uh -huh, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Now, one of the interesting facts that you shared with me is the fact that um, you speak, you teach your kids 25 different languages. Could you tell us yeah. that word in the language that you're saying thank you so we can understand that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, I, I teach fifth graders, and so I try to tell them to say thanks. Um, so we've got the Tagalog from the Philippines, which is Salamat Po, um, Obrigado, which is um, Portuguese. Um, we've got, um, let's see, um, chat. Oh, let's see, gracias to Spanish. We've got, um, um, is that, uh, do you want to know more? Hebrew is oh, Toda Rabah. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Japanese. Uh, domo Arigato. French. Uh, merci. German. Uh, danke. Russian. Um, spasibo. Wow. Yeah. Now, you would also mentioned to me that uh, you were once a shy kid, and, and what happened to that? How did, how did you break out of that box? Yeah, I was a shy kid that I didn't think I was very smart. I sat next to the kid that ate glue, and so it was the two of us. <laughs> I would count blocks. And anyway, um, my sixth grade teacher just believed in me, loved me, held me up to a super high expectation. and. And I knew she loved me, so I could love myself, and um, and, I, and I broke through. Wow. What's the greatest story of success you've had with these young kids? Is there one particular kid that you remember making a difference in their life? Oh, I've, well, i got to tell you, they make more of a difference in my life than I do in theirs. Mm -hmm. I definitely, um, some of these singers that I have here today, 11 of them were in my fifth grade classes through the years. Um, there was a kid with, with very, very low self-esteem. Um, to the point where he was about done with his life at, at, at 10 years old. And I put my arm around him and I went to every one of his baseball games and, and just was just there. And, uh, and, and I guess he, he saw that there was you know, value in him and, uh, and he's doing okay. He's doing well now. So. You know, it's amazing. I've actually saved several kids' life in my experience. I was a college teacher, and kids are definitely afraid of public speaking. And this young girl would come and talk to me in my office, like, all the time. And she mentioned to me in passing that she was she should stop taking her medications. And I'm a person of high intuition. And she missed one speech, and she missed another speech. And one day she didn't show up to class. And um, something told me to call the health office. And they said, do you want us to go to her home? And I said, yes. And it was because what I do, she had slipped her wrist. And, you know, the chair of the department called me and said, you know, we want to let you know your student is okay. She's at Cedar sinai And you can let her make up the stuff. 
And I remember having a conversation with her and her just thanking me. And um, she went and she, she had a speech to, to do to, to go ahead and make up for it. And I said, you got to show up at this place. you got to. And, and she missed the next one. I'm like, oh, my God, not again, not again, not again. And, and so... She came to the school and I said, you got to be there at 6.30 in the morning. you got to be there at 6.30 in the morning. So I was there at 6.30 in the morning, and there she was. And even though she was up there chewing her gum and so on and so forth, just, just to see her to see her out there, it takes, it takes a, certain, a, certain, a certain person. And I know you said you deal with a lot of people and their esteem issues, so I want to teach you something I, I learned at a Sri Lanka International Women's Day. And, and this woman said, and I teach it to everybody I come in contact with, because each of us is a change agent in the world. And if you share these words with them, you can make tremendous good. I love myself. I love myself. I'm an incredible human being. I am an incredible human being. I'm a problem solver. I'm a problem solver. I'm intuitive. I, I am intuitive. I'm kind. I'm kind. I'm considerate. I'm considerate. I'm thoughtful. I believe in myself. I do believe in myself. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I have a heartbeat. I do. And every day I'm becoming a better and better individual. I totally am. I totally am becoming a better individual. I hope you will take this and share it with everyone that you come in contact with. Because it's you and I who are making these changes in the world to make it a better place. Amen. Totally. If there's, if there's a way that people could, could follow you and contact you, where, where, would, you, where would you want them to, to get a hold of you? Um, probably just the email, I guess. I don't okay. really have a... Know, anything else that's Jeff dot razor at severe s e v i e r s d dot org. Okay, well, my name is Rosalind Khan, and when you do go on the computer and you put in my name, Rosalind Khan, R O S A L Y N, last name is K A H N, you can follow me on all my social media. My program is called Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. I always interview amazing people and tell their stories. It shows every Tuesday at 11 a to 11.30. And don't worry, you can go to my my YouTube account and you can see all the videos and you can watch it on Chow Entertainment Group. It's been a blessing and an honor. And there's there's someone upstairs who had the two of us with me today. I thank you so much. And gratitude beyond words and namaste. Thank you. Alzheimer's and I remember we were all in the hospital room and for like 10 seconds she recognized who we were and then it was gone. So it's like a thief, it's taking away memories and um, who you are as a person. Over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's. That number may double by 2050. For more information, visit rightfocus.org. For 40 years, Playhouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact Playhouse Central Florida at 407-898-2483 or visit them online at PlayhouseCFL.org. Hello, we have Julianne, Tom, and Will. My name is Rosalind Khan, and I'm with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. So tell me about this wonderful performance that you guys all participated in. Well, we just finished uh, the Orange program at the Brisk Festival. We had a show called The Mating Ritual of Snails. And, Dating uh, Ritual of Snails? It sounds like a moving experience. It was, a slow moving experience. There's and. Uh, Julia and Tom were the snails. It was not a metaphor. It was a, a very literal piece about snails and how they do it. Wow. And where can it be seen next? So we're moving on to the final. So it'll be playing again uh, April 30th and May 1st here at the Brisk. And you've got tickets with my name on it so I can come see it myself, right? Sure, exactly. Correct. Fantastic. Now, is this an English, Italian, or a German specialty? So uh, most of the, pr the play is in English. There are a few things that are in snails. Oh, uh, cool. But the majority of it is in English, yeah. Now, did you have to go to a snail school to learn this? Well, uh... It's a snail boot camp. Yeah. Snail boot camp. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Like a learn the moves and we studied snail movements. They had to come out of their shells. Right. Now, if someone wanted to follow you all, how would they be able to do that? Just on the street? <laughs> on the street? Yeah. With a car that says, have money, drop it here? My car, although... Consensually, preferably. Consensual car follows or bike follows. Um, uh, 
if, on social media. Oh, on those ones. Yeah. Yeah. I have an Instagram. It's at Jason Okay. At Will McFadden. And I'm at, yes, Tom Shemansky. That I is. dare you to spell it. Well, we won't. We'll fail. <laughs> but who's counting really now? My name is Rosalind Khan. I'm with Chow Entertainment, living your best life every Tuesday, 11A to 1130. And you just look for the name Rosalind Khan, Chow Entertainment yes. Group. You'll find me. Thank you so very much. Ciao. 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 Hi, my name is Rosalind Khan. I come from Los Angeles, California. I'm with a television station called Chow Entertainment. My show is called Living Your Best Life. It runs every Tuesday from 11A to 11.30 on KXLA TV that you can even see up here on Lake Arrowhead. I came to spend the night because I'm visiting a local pet store by Tommy Bull. And we saw this as a beautiful resort and I want to compliment the manager on the fine service that I received. We were greeted last night by Rihanna and Nick who were so kind and gracious when we presented them a bouquet of flowers. They have greeted us to a beautiful room with you. I couldn't have asked for anything better on a short stay. But when I woke up this morning, I was greeted by Samira, who told me I'm more than free to do my morning routine in the, in the hallway. It was such a pleasant stay, and I know that I will be sharing the wonders of this wonderful place, Lake Arrowhead, resorts and spas, with all my friends and families back in LA. And best of all, I will return. I'm gonna be doing a book signing coming up this July. And I will make sure this is the place I'm going to stay. Frank Young, you're the man who's trained and in charge of all these people. Gratitude beyond words and namaste. Thank you so much. Nurse Access Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.